Local teachers and school administrators and police are doing what they can to prepare in case there is ever an incident like this in our area. And David Highfield has been looking into what they have learned. New at 11. David. Well, Patrice, we learned about a couple of training sessions recently held in our area, one of them held by the FBI. We also learned about a drill held in a local school district. And the goal of all of this is to prevent something like this. But if it were to happen, to have a plan in place to deal with it. So he comes in. You throw, grab, push, and strip. Sam Rosenberg teaches teachers what to do in a worst-case scenario. Now, if you can't run and you can't hide, then you have to fight back. A former bodyguard, Rosenberg, founded a company called Impax, and after the Virginia Tech shootings, started a training session for teachers and administrators. Go. Good. That's it. That's it. He showed me some of what he teaches them, including how to disarm someone. Redirect, drive, push, pull away. That was really good and how to apply pressure with just fingertips. But he stresses these tactics should only be used by teachers if they absolutely have to. In August, the Seneca Valley School District held a mock hostage event to practice what to do if a man with a gun forces his way into the school. There is a and lockdown. All doors must be shut and locked. Finally, the FBI is preparing local police and superintendents just in case a school shooting happens here. There may be victims lying in the hallway. You can't stop and tend to them. You've got to move on because the, the priority is you've got to stop the perpetrator. And at the two-day training session held by the FBI, they also talked about prevention and how important it is to teach students to speak up if they know something is going to happen or even if they suspect something is going to happen. We're live tonight outside the FBI building on the south side. David Highfield, KDKA, TV News.